Now, I spoke to Maria Elvira Salazar, and I asked her whether or not she supported some of the policies that, uh, that Trump has instituted. So I want to play you part of that exchange that I had with Maria Elvira in advance of the interview that I have with her coming up on Sunday. Let's play that. Yeah, on Saturday, you were at a Students for Trump rally. They were all chanting for more years. You've expressed your support for Donald Trump. A two-part question. One, you know, the district you're running in voted overwhelmingly by 18 or 20 points for Hillary Clinton. Are you not out of step then with your district supporting Donald Trump? And can you identify specific areas where you disagree, where you think the president has been wrong in what he's done? Listen, I'd like that you left the best question for last. Trump is very unconventional. Trump sometimes uses words that I would not use. But he has implemented policies that have been very good for my community and for South Florida. Specifically the economic, we had the eco economics or the economy, the way it was in January, February of this year, where more Hispanics were working. You've heard it before where minorities were working. I like what he's done with Cuba, what he did with Venezuela, what he's done with Israel, what he did with China, what he's done. So, so some of his policies have been very good for my community. And he is not a socialist. And I sign or I align myself with freedom. That is my answer to you. And one thing that you're asking me that I do not agree with him, immigration. I believe then I just told you that we have 11 million brothers and sisters in this country that do not have paper, and 7.7 .7 million of them have been here for more than 15 years. They have American kids, they, have, they don't have a criminal record, and they have worked and paid taxes. Those people need to stay with some type of legality. Because otherwise, we would not be the nation that we are, the beacon of, of human rights in the whole world. So as you can see, socialism is going to be a major theme that the Republicans and the Donald Trump and these candidates are using to try to galvanize support among Hispanics and believe that anyone who votes for a Democrat is voting for a socialist way of life. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out in the weeks ahead.